Take ten girls who love to party. Skip! Let the girls abuse their bodies with alcohol and bad food. Then add a country retreat. And divide the girls into two groups. Put one group on a detox diet while the other group eats normally. And we'll see what difference the detox makes. In the heart of the English countryside, our ten girls are about to enter the detox retreat. Detox diets are numerous and their claims amazing. But as far as we know, they've never been scientifically tested. Until now. Hi guys, welcome to the detox house. My name Nurse is Emily will guide both groups through the experiment. So what makes you want to do a detox? Well, it's just that after my exams finished, I did sp feel like I spent about three weeks drunk. <laughs> it's amazing. I mean, for a while it was just like I was living off cheap fizz and canapes. It was a great time, but I feel so unhealthy now. What I want to know is if you can get away with eating really badly for six weeks and then detox a week and then, you know, kind of... Okay. Get, do you know what I mean? <laughs> so, OK. So if we all stand up, I've got the straws. The experiment begins by randomly picking the five girls who will detox. <laughs> the other five will act as a control group. They'll eat a normal diet. Then the science starts. We're going to establish kind of how well you guys are functioning in terms of your liver, your kidneys. It's going to do quite a bit of testing today. I'm going to start you on the detox tomorrow. And at the end of that, we're going to do another lot of testing so that we can compare the two results. I'm going to hand you each a test tube. There you go. Before the trial begins, both groups are tested to see how loaded with toxins they all are. Come on. How well their bodies are coping will show up in samples of blood, saliva and a whole 24 hours worth of urine. Everything to pass between now and the morning goes in here. At the end of the week, more samples will be taken and analysed. Will the detox girls have flushed out their systems and got their bodies working more efficiently? Our detox diet has been specially created by three independent nutritionists who analysed the common themes found in dozens of published detox diets. Yeah. Certainly for those which are recommending juicing, it's almost more the better. I think we can certainly recommend large amounts. No booze, no caffeine, no added sugar, no dairy and no red meat. Definitely, absolutely. That's the rules. For the next week, the white group will follow the rigorous detox diet, starting with a whole day of just fresh vegetable juice and water. I really want to try the detox diets because um, I tend to be incredibly busy and I'm running around and I'm quite lazy when it comes to food, actually, I have to say. So I kind of like just grab a, like, you know, Cornish pasty or something like that, which is pretty gross, I know. So I was hoping that like, you can like just spend one week of every kind of maybe couple of months kind of really concentrating on your diet, really cleaning yourself out and everything else like that, and that would kind of do the trick. Meanwhile, the Reds will eat a hearty, balanced diet with a little of everything in moderation. This includes pasta, red meat, curry, wine, coffee, chocolate and crisps. Well, when I first found out that um, I wasn't in the detox group, I was a little bit disappointed. But then, literally about, I don't know, as soon as I got the menu, really, I sort of thought, thank God. Later in the programme, we'll return to the country retreat to find out how the two groups get on with their diets.